thanks for dropping by welcome to my backyard taking a look at this MA-40 tower by US Tower that's the foundation here in Plano I had to get engineering done and uh, before I can get a building permit and that's the slab that we had to put in it's three foot by three foot by 30 inches but it has a 10 foot pier going down to bedrock and looking up the mast, I lean it over on one of my step ladders to take the weight off the, the foundation. This is the thunderstorm position. I always tilt it over when a bad storm is approaching. Although the mast is rated at 50 plus miles an hour, fully extended, I don't like to take chances. Sometimes a thunderstorm can uh, produce 60, 70, 80 mile per hour gust. I don't like surprises. I have a wire antenna up there. There's the ballon. That's my 80 meter and 30 meter diet pole wire antenna. It's, it's rigged up so I can hoist it up and down easily when the tower is in the vertical position. The rotator is just a simply just a, uh, a ham 4 and, uh, uh, rotator. Nothing uh, extravagant. Seems to hold the weight okay. Here's the hoist that I use to tilt it over, vertical down to the uh, tilt over position. Doesn't take a whole lot of strength. Uh, I think so. one of these days I may have to replace it with an electric winch when I start getting old and feeble. <laughs> and this is the hoist, the, the, the winch that uh, raises the telescoping section up to the full height of 43, see 40 feet. I think it's actually 40, yeah, it's 40 feet, it's, a, it's 23 foot in a nested position and 43 feet all the way up. That's my Force 12 C3 Sugar Sugar beam antenna up there. I really like that antenna. It's, it's went together real well and uh, talks real well and it's just a, a, a tri-band with two elements per band. It's not really a element antenna right now now you can actually see it there and now there is the matter of putting the horseshoe back in the horseshoe is this device right here and it bolts to the bottom. It just helps to secure the mast to the support structure. Okay, that's pretty cool, huh? Alrighty, totally unrelated to the MA-40 is my antenna switch. I have an Ameritron four position antenna switch right there in the eave of the uh, roof with a bulkhead. I fashioned myself. The antenna connector goes through a Molex connector, or rather, I'm sorry, the uh, antenna rotor connects by means of a Molex connector, as you see right there. All the coax is LMR 400 by Times Cable. Very low loss, even at VHF and UHF frequencies, but most all my operations are on HF generally 40, 30, and 20 meters. When the band starts opening up, you'll start hearing me make noise out on 15 and 17 and 10 and what have you. Okay, that's pretty cool.